So you, you identify control, having a, a sense of agency and feeling like one's actions can influence outcomes as, as another factor that can reduce stress. And of course, also relevant to what we're talking about, living well, um, living a meaningful and fulfilling life. So, so given all the factors that you outline in much of your work that influence our behavior, our biology, hormones, upbringing, environment, to what extent can we still choose how well we will live? My, my personal song and dance is there's no free will whatsoever. We are biological machines. We're the fanciest kinds out there. We are biological machines that make no sense out of the context of our social setting and our psyches and such. But given that, no, we cannot choose to live in a better, healthier way. But insofar as we're these unprecedented biological machines who could know that we are machines and learn where the buttons and the levers are, we can be changed by circumstance in a way that will give us the recursive power to go and press these buttons instead of that ones, to realize, walk down this side of the street instead of that side, because if I walk by that bar, I'm not going to be able to stop myself from going in and having a drink. We're, we're machines that could change and can learn how to mobilize the efficacy that we do have to act out these changes. You know, cut short, yeah, we could make changes to live better, as long as you don't get into a mindset that those who don't, don't really want to and don't have enough self-control and don't have enough Puritan self-discipline and such. 